Hello, pleasure to talk to you, pleasure to be here. Welcome and sit down and relax. This is about random number functions. And you find uh, excellent documentation here in the uh, in the internet, uh, Autodesk Knowledge Network, that is my, uh, you easily find this is access accessible for everyone. And you have several ways to create random values, for example, the Gaussian noise, denoise, random, sphere and, and seed. And uh, what we'll cover today by just trying out one example for each is the noise, the rand, and the sphere rand. Okay, let's get going. We start with a random number. Let's create a torus and uh, here under polytorus you have the radius. Instead of one, let's type in equals random R-A-N-D bracket open and now we type in a value of say one which is gonna be the random smallest value here for the radius, radius one so to say, comma and then the largest, let's say 20, a really big radius, and we need to close that bracket and press enter. Now we have a huge one with a value, the radius of 17.377. When we go to the um, right mouse click edit expression, the expression editor opens, and when we just type, in a, actually click on edit, we get all those random values here for our radius. This can go forever and if you come to a <laughs> value which you like, maybe this one, you just stop, delete the expression, right mouse click and you're done. You have a value of 18.717. Would you have ever thought about that value? I wouldn't. So that's the random function. Uh, very easy, very simple, very effective. You can use it for colors and uh, many kinds of things. New scene. Second example, we'll use the noise function. Let's go to the front window here and draw a curve. Right here, curves, surfaces are the curves. And this is the curve which we can draw like this. Uh, actually we could draw it a little bit more like this. And now we go to modeling and deform and nonlinear deformer and we choose the sine curve for example. It doesn't do anything because the sine here, the amplitude is zero. So let's increase that amplitude like this and we rotate it so it has a better effect on our object like this. Now we can hide the manipulator the deformer by pressing H and the only th thing we see now is that curve and when we run the the animation of course the curve sits there it's just being deformed and that's the way it, it is now here you have the wavelength of the deformer the deformer is not visible anymore but it's still there and you can extend the fra the wavelength like this and you can reduce it like this And you can type in a noise function here, equals noise. And if you want to have it uh, changing slowly, you type in time. If you want to have it faster, type in frame, which is 24 times faster. Press enter. And now when you run the animation, you see this effect. random numbers per time. So it's four, 0 0.413 currently, one frame further it's 0 0.4 etc. So this is a second example for randomness. If you want to change it of course right mouse click go to the uh, expression editor which we'll visit again uh, in the next example actually and you can divide the time by 10 
press edit and that's what you see then a very slow deformation of that curve the noise function produces values up to one new scene third example sphere rand basically it means a randomness in a spherical way three-dimensional that is and it has to do with ellipsoids ellipsoids and uh, spheres let's create a particle fx n particles where are they right here and we'll use the n particle tool and uh, let's reset this, uh, the settings here uh, the number of particles well let's go for 1000 and the maximum radius how they are distributed uh, we set this to 1 and we just put our mouse somewhere here and close that window and press the arrow key so here they are F that's our particle system it doesn't do anything because it doesn't have a dynamic so it's just a distribution here and now in order to place them in an uh, in a more interesting circular sort of way we can do the following we go to the particle shape here and uh, select it select that and now we go to the expression editor which sits under windows because it has to do with animation mainly it's under the animation editors and it's all the way down here expression editor that's the window we've seen before but um, well um, by default it's set to uh, particle runtime before dynamics you could set it to runtime after dynamics that means you give the particles attributes using expressions before or after the nucleus uh, starts to to work that is the dynamic uh, system gets active we don't have a, a dynamic system in here anyway so we go to creation we want to create that particle and we want to position the particles 1000 that is so we type in position equals and now we type in that function it's called spherical randomness bracket open and now we'll input a vector because it's uh, three-dimensional and the vectors are in Maya and in other com uh, computer uh, programming languages often the double arrow here and we type in three values now for X Y and Z for X for example very wide range 30 the X is currently going in this direction this direction here this is the X axis it's red right here so um, up we don't want a uh, distribution at all we just want it to be flat and we can type in well maybe two in the Y direction in that direction and we double close that bracket thing and close the usual bracket here I don't know how they're called actually in English uh, and create and now we have this distribution you see it's an elliptic shape that's what the spherical randomness does and it distributes them flat because we typed in the value of one uh, of zero for y very wide right here and not so wide in the z direction well that's all i wanted to show you please visit this site here the random number functions here denoise randomness if you go to for example denoise you see that it's a vector so it's that uh, double bracket thing again right here and uh, this is the the way uh, you can use it for example there's always an example here and uh, or in most cases so have a good day bye bye